Looking at question 9, we have calculate the resistance of a wire if 0 0.5 volts across it causes a current of 2.5 amps to flow. So we obviously are going to be using our R is equal to V over I. We have 0 0.5 volts divided by 2.5 amps and that gives 0 0.2 ohms. So that's pretty straightforward. The next one I asked you to do was 12. Determine the length of tungsten wire with a diameter of 1 millimeter that is used to make a 20 ohm resistor. Now which formula would we use? Well we've got here the diameter and we're wanting to find the length so obviously I'm going to be using this formula over here. So we erase those. So we're going to have that. So we're actually going to have, we need the length is going to equal the resistance times the area, the cross-sectional area, divided the resistivity um, of the tungsten wire. Now we need to we need to get that value and uh, if we look in our textbook they do give us the those um, those values. I'll just quickly find it here. For tungsten it is 5.6 times 10 to the negative 8 ohm meters. So the row value for that is 5.8 times 10 to the negative 8 ohm meter. So I'm going to have therefore my length, my resistance that I want is 20 ohms, so that's 20. Now the area we've got to be a little bit careful here because we are given this in millimeters now we're looking at the cross-sectional area so we usually take it as a circle this diameter is one millimeter so the radius is 0 0.5 millimeters so when I find the area we just work over here the area is equal to pi r squared is going to equal pi 0 0.5 times 10 to the negative three because there are a thousand millimeter millimeters in a meter and I'm going to need to square it. So I just work that out quickly. So we're gonna have shift pi times point five exponent negative three squared. And we get a value there of uh, 7.85 times 10 to the negative 7 and that will be meters squared so I can put that in here that's going to be my my value I'm going to multiply 7.85 times 10 to the negative 7 and I'm going to divide that by my row which is 5.8 times 10 to the negative 8 so I'm going to calculate this so it times by 20 and then divided by my 5.8 exponent negative 8 and I get a length there of 270 270.8 meters that I'm going to need so it's going to be um, it's going to be pretty long. Okay, just check my working there. I think everything is correct. Um, we're going to get this is divided by that, yeah, and this is so that's that's going to be the value that we're going to get. All right, looking at question thirteen. A nichrome wire has a diameter of 0.4 millimeters. Calculate the length of this wire needed to carry a current of 30 milliamps when there is a potential difference of 12 volts. Now we see here we've been given the diameter and the lengths we need so we're probably going to be working with this but I don't know what my resistance is but I can work out my resistance from these two values over here using this formula over here. So I'm going to get 12 volts divided by 30 and we're going to get times 10 to the negative 3. Just be careful with that milliamp. So I divide 12 divided by that. And 
and I get 400 400 ohms so my resistance that I need is 400 ohms so now it's a similar as question to the one I had before I'm just going to work out my area my cross-sectional area now here we are told that it is 0.4 millimeters so the radius is going to be 0.2 so it's going to be pi times 0.2 times 10 to the negative 3 squared that will give my um, area and so my length that I can actually do it all at once my length is going to equal my R times my A divided by my rho my resistivity and um, for tungsten for, for nichrome wire um, we have that it is a hundred times 10 to the minus 8 so I'm going to get my R is equal to 400 um, divided by a hundred times 10 to the negative 8 and here I'm going to have this times pi times 0 0.2 times 10 to the negative 3 all squared so I'm going to work that out so I get 400 times by my pi times by 0.2 exponent negative 3 squared enter divided by 100 exponent negative 8 and I get a total there of 50.3 meters now in actual fact I can use I could just use 50 here because 50 meters because this is all given in two significant figures so that we find so to be about 50 meters